Outside the city, riders also reported smooth sailing. As WBZ's Nick Giovanni tells us, some of the T customers taking the shuttles today took a pass on Monday's commute. Tuesday morning was still a test run for some commuters from Malden to Medford, getting their first taste of the Orange Line shutdown. Yesterday I just stayed home, worked at home. Gotcha. Okay, just wanted yeah. to see the smoke clear. Some riders who worked remotely Monday decided to board a shuttle bus after watching from afar how the diversion was handled during its first real test. I was definitely watching the news for sure. I usually work from home in the beginning of the week, but um, I was a little nervous. I was going to take the red line, but I decided to just go for it. Before heading in for her first day working from the office, Danny Schmidt did some homework, studying up on the alternate routes available and which she should try first. I did a lot of research on like what to take. I heard that shuttle bus takes a long time, and the commuter rail for me is just two, st two stops to downtown Boston. So. I like walking anyways. For others, the best option just came down to timing. Uh, well, this one's going now. It's leaving in a minute, and that's leaving in 20 minutes. But while the commute was new to some, others were already over the changes caused by the closure. It's kind of getting annoying for us. We have to wake up earlier now, you know? And sometimes, like, I have to take another bus now to go to work. Is that right? Is yeah. that kind of tough to navigate yes. all those changes? Yeah. Yes. General Manager Steve Poptak told us the T is assessing plans as it goes. They do anticipate ridership will go up as we move toward the middle of the week, and then even more so after Labor Day. Reporting from Malden, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.